After a two-day meeting between National Council of Sports, Uganda Professional Boxing Commission and the Uganda Boxing Union to find out the right organization which is allowed to organize fights under World Boxing Organization, it has been learned that the case is yet to be solved. Earlier on, the petition by UPBC almost saw UBU fight set for Friday flopping. But Uganda Boxing Union Chief Executive Officer Patrick Semambo has confirmed the fight will go on. The fight between heavyweight Kennedy Odeki and Tanzania's Ashraf Suleiman, dubbed the National Liberation Fight, is expected to be explosive as both fighters vowed to end it early. UB officials are not amused by the fact that in the Friday fight, UPBC has to send five officials to monitor, as well as three from National Council of Sports. We have the same legal binding documents. We can go to courts of law if people don't discipline themselves. And uh, we are not sending a threat, but these are even the statements I've made. I've lost three sponsors, people who had come, some of these ones here. UPBC, led by the Vice President Salim Uhuru, urges that it's the only commission organized by WBO to sanction fights by any promotional company. However, the two boxers who are going to test it out on Friday at Gogo are breathing fire with Odeka announcing a knockout in the third round. I'm going to be this guy and I'm going to stop him on the third round. I know very many people say that the guy is too big, that he's bigger than me. But boxing is not all about being big. Five undercards have been lined up to spice up the day with the notables including Robert Kamea, popularly known as Ring Doctor, Juma Waswa, Kigun Juma, Madawa, to mention but a few. Yes, Wanja, Abes TV, Kampala. Why am I saying this? 